so well, I'm going, I'm, I'm not sure when I'm going to stop or where I'm going to stop, but, um, you know, you can't turn your assignments in after break, so you need to get them turned in. All right, so let me share my screen and I will show you what the next step is. So we talked about dimensioning, how to dimension, where to put the dimensions, how to figure out how many dimensions you need. And so what you're going to do with that is go to your Onshape account. I have to refresh mine. Sorry. And you're going to take those four part drawings that you made in model creation and you're going to dimension those. Now, uh, I did a lesson on the 16th and the 17th, IED 1617. That is in YouTube, where we talked about how to create a drawing. So, so we already talked about how to create a drawing. This is drawing one. This is my part over here, my drawing of my part right here. So all we talked about was how to create this, the top, front, and right side view. Today, we're going to dimension. So you are going to dimension your drawing. This, I just pulled this one up by chance to do first. So what we have to do first is figure out how many dimensions we need for height, width, and depth. Um, I, I can't make notes on here really, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try to move my pointer around so you can see, and I'm going to do one, one dimension at a time. So if we start with, um, uh, sorry, I'm trying to move this. There we go. Let's start with height. So we have to first figure out how, how many height dimensions do we need? Um, and so height is on the front view from top to bottom or on the right side view from top to bottom. This is height from top to bottom. So we can start at the top and every time we hit a wall, a wall that's perpendicular to our path, we need a dimension. So if I start up here and I move down, I hit this wall and I hit this wall and I hit this wall and this wall, which means for height, I need four dimensions, including overall. So we do the overall first. This is your dimension tool right here. Um, so when you click on that tool, you can click on corners or lines, and your dimension comes out. Now this little uh, box right here allows you to add notations if you want to you don't have to um, sometimes uh, you need to do that for um, uh, uh, sorry I have to get out of it to get away from that um, if, if you have a diameter you might want to add a diameter symbol we're not going to worry about that yet so there's my overall dimension now you can move this number around but you should have it centered now, I'm going to need to dimension three more dimensions. Now, I can't dimension to hidden lines, but I need these distances. But I can do that over on this view. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I think, I think I want to move this. Um, I want this number, I think, below here like that. Um, this does have to cross over the uh, object line, but sometimes that's necessary. So there's one dimension. I need another one. I can either do the height of this hole. Um, I think I will, I think I'll do that. So I'm gonna dimension the height of that hole. See how that looks, see how that lines up if I put it up here. There, we can kind of stagger that a little bit. And um, uh, so I've got three dimensions now. I need one more. 
And that actually can be dimensioned right here. That's this dimension we need, and we, we want to do that um, so that the dimension is not on the face. Now, the, the dimension line is on the face of the object, but that's okay. Um, this is one of those situations where that just had to happen. So now we have fully dimensioned the height. The height is fully dimensioned. Um, one more thing about dimensioning, you need to make sure you know about workspace units. You can check your workspace units. Like when you make your drawing, you have to either do millimeters or inches, depending on the instructions. When you, uh, I mean, when you make your part, when you create your drawing, you also need to set that for your dimensioning. And so this is drawing properties up here. And if you click on units, this first with the little measuring rule, units, you have to make sure this is in millimeters. I first started this today and I was in inches and I was getting weird numbers and then I figured out why. So you have to make sure that the drawing properties, the units are um, the same as the units that you use to create your part. All right, then, so my height is done. Now I'm gonna do my depth. Now I'll do my width. Okay, width is on the front view and the top view from left to right from left to right, left to right. So if I start here and I move to the right, I hit one wall, another wall, and another wall, which means for width, I'm going to need three dimensions. First one I'm gonna put in is my overall width. And I think I'm gonna put it on this front view right here. Um, and then I'm going to use, uh, now I could make, I want to dimension this distance right here. I've got three distances. I only need two of them. I'm going to dimension this distance here, but I'm going to do it on this view because um, it's better contour. So I'm going to do that on that view. And then I'm going to do the next dimension over here because if I did it in the middle it would kind of interfere with um, the one the 15 millimeter dimension now there's not room to put that 10 inside so I'm going to drag it outside and leave it outside this is not an error when the number is not in between the extension lines that's not an error it's it's just because there's no room um, Okay, so I have one, two, three dimensions for my width, and then the last one I need to do is my height. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, my depth. So my depth is from front to back, front to back, front to back. So I have depth here, and I have depth here. So if I start at the bottom here and I move up, I hit one wall, two walls, three walls, so I need three dimensions for my depth. Um, it's a good idea to put the overall depth up here, I'm pretty sure, because there's only hidden lines and I can't really do anything else up there. So there's my depth, my overall depth, and then the other depth dimensions that I need are the distance from here to here, here to here, and here to here. I only need two of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do, I think I'll do this one. Um, hmm. Wait, that's not the one I need to do. I'm sorry. Let me get rid of that. Yeah, okay, what I need to do is here to here. That's what I need. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and now notice I'm kind of lining up the arrows um, with the ones that are next to them, but this dimension is outside here. And then I am going to be really crowded 
if I do this dimension down here. So unfortunately, I'm going to, I'm not going to do this dimension because that would be two extension lines over the object, but I'm going to do it from here to here. And, oh, I need to move that number. Let me get out of this. And then just move that number over. Come on, you. Oh, yes. Oh, you need to go down. There we go. Okay, so now that drawing is fully dimensioned. It's fully dimensioned. Overall height, overall depth, um, overall width, uh, two more width dimensions, two more depth dimensions, and two more height dimensions. Or actually the height had four, didn't it? Anyway, so um, in your assignment, let me show you your assignment real quick, if I can get back there. Um, where is my canvas? It's so hard to see. Okay, so I created in your linear dimension assignment, which is 3.4, you go to 3.4, And you go to the Resources tab. And I created another part for linear dimensions. Part 1 was the part where you just had to point out the errors. Part 2 was where you had to uh, dimension the multi-view drawings. You can do it by hand to take pictures. And then Part 3 is just a place for you to submit. So when you click on Part 3, it says completely dimension all of your part drawings from 4.1e and submit here. So you'll have a submit button up here. I don't have one. And you'll just, you know, submit and resubmit and resubmit and resubmit till you get all four of those down. Um, okay, so I'm going to start.